Welcome back to Battlefield 4 at E3 2013. I am Alex Mendez, also known as Golden Boy FTW, joined by Corey Dunn, and we have more Battlefield 4 gameplay coming at you in just a little bit. Players are getting uh, set up and ready to go after they've been debriefed, and uh, it's time to see some war. Right? Yeah. <laughs> time to get deeper into it. Yeah, uh, again, just uh, you know, one of the things that uh, we've had the chance to kind of talk about every single thing that we could possibly think of, what all the speculation was. And uh, so, yeah, just keep uh, posting out there on Reddit. That's uh, subreddit. There is going to be Battlefield and also on Twitter. That's hashtag BF4 and uh, also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Battlefield. That's right, and guys, you know, of course, you know, go on the chat, right? If you're watching on Twitch TV, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are talking uh, about all the, all the things that you're watching here today. Of course, pre-alpha footage is what you're looking at here of Battlefield 4 as we take a look at the tabletop perspective. Uh, one of my favorite angles as we see some players getting the control. You know, the, the first portion of this game is going to be a little slow, but this is actually something we have not seen before, which is the start of a game and how everyone is moving. You can see some tanks actually making their way through that main street, while on the other side, they do have a tank, but it seems to be more focused on uh, taking that route right I, through I, that I think it's probably water. taking out the pillars right now. That could be. They the very first thing, so the play, that tank right there all, well, let's see. It, yeah, that's yep. exactly what it's doing. Taking out the pillars. I mean, it makes the sense. The very first thing that it's doing is trying to take out the pillars. Yeah, they probably don't want to have to deal with uh, fighting up top on sea. So then you can see it's actually going to be coming down any second now. So that is going to happen. Um, but there is going to be a, uh, a tank there across the way. And they're going to be running into uh, one of the trucks here. But Alpha 22 inside of that tank charging through. This is certainly going to be interesting here because I don't think that tank is aware of what's going on. And there's UAVs circling around as well. They are looking very, very good. And here comes a Tomahawk now for uh, for the Alpha Squad as they rain down destruction by that uh, D flag. You can see the Tomahawk. This could cause a lot of problems. And it does manage to pick up maybe one or two people. No, it actually oh, gets about one or two. So, yeah, you are right. I'm right about that one. But, yeah, so looking here, Alpha 22 now on the charge with that tank. So they haven't taken down the skyscraper yet. We just noticed that they was probably able to cause a, a quite a bit of damage right off the bat. Uh, but uh, as we're here with Alpha 22, he's trying to clean up shop here over there towards the arcade. Uh, and of course, if they are able to take this point, that will give the commander the capability of using the infantry scan. Uh, so again, he's being fired upon here. Still has full health right now. Hasn't been... Uh, entirely contested yet by the proper uh, armory so far. Yeah, and that one player there is not going to allow that tank to be able to get control of D, so that guy needs to stay alive as long as he can until some more units move in. And oh man, look at here, you can see that rockets flying everywhere. That ended so fast back on Bora Alpha 21 here as the skyscraper not down yet as you had pointed out before, Corey, but it certainly is on its way to doing so. That AK-5C in hand, looking to do some damage. All right, so he's just kind of pushing up. Take a look at the tabletop, see where exactly uh, where he needs to go. Uh, a lot of the action's probably about to happen over there towards C. Uh, but uh, right now, again, kind of spread throughout the map. Um, you can see that A and B are, aren't going to be contested, nor will D and E. The main battle will probably happen here towards C. But parachuting, and this is a... Oh, I would have been so much more of a fan if he landed on the roof. He could have attacked from the high ground. And uh, so right now, he lands on the uh, the awning right there. And I think he landed right next to uh, one of the players on the other team from Bravo team. Oh, man. So, yeah, and you know what, too, though? We do have to, of course, talk about how uh, all the moving parts of Battlefield works. You know, we, we most importantly... And let's actually take a look at that, where, this, where the players are actually playing in the uh, commander station. You can see it right there, all those screens, eight screens there giving you information on who is doing what. And Lisa is actually up there as well. So uh, we just saw Lisa in a video earlier. But yeah, you can see the DICE guys, uh, you know, prepping that commander station, assisting the players there on the field. But yeah, man, that, that is just such, such a cool, cool setup. I, I really want that in my home. 
Yeah, so you Jealous. can see right there, you uh, kind of giving a little bit more intel about the game. You can see that uh, this player uh, was able to drop a C4 and pick it back up, similar to other versions that we've seen so far. This Tomahawk is going to cause a lot of problems here uh, for these they don't move. players. If they don't move, that tank is under, uh, needs to look out. Here comes the Tomahawk. It's taking some time. And finally, it's almost there. It's diving down. Oh. And it looks like they will be able to get uh, at least one player, and that was it. Wow, only one player. That's pretty shocking considering uh, that there was just such a cluster. But that shows that timing is everything with those Tomahawks, Corey. Yeah, again, that was uh, called in by the commander. That's and right. So now we're here with Alpha 12. He's got a group of players that are with him as well from his team. Uh, basically, right now, all they really need to worry about is uh, over there. I think the building is starting to fall. Uh, it seems that way. It seems it's like it's got, got a little tilt going to it. Yeah, not not fully though. But at the uh, very least, uh, oh, and, and there it is. I think that is going to be the part where it starts tilting. But yeah, so uh, it seems as if they have full control of C, which is very good. I wonder what uh, I wonder what the CN squad is going to do at this point in time because they know. And actually, yeah, here comes. I think I, it is going to tilt. Yeah, no. So one of the things that uh, that needs to be noted, the re the main key point to knowing whenever the, the skyscraper is falling while you're inside is uh, hearing the alarms going off. That and is true. And we're not, we haven't heard any alarms going off. It's just, uh, maybe I have vertigo. <laughs> that could be, Corey, that could be. The realism is just insane. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that Viper was gonna be lingering around the building here, uh, trying to put some shots inside, but all the players, oh, wait a minute. Viper ended up Did just. You? He, he's, I'm gonna bail. So the the oh no, I think, I think he was trying to 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 steal that helicopter, and that player just went straight through the ground. That is unfortunate. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, helicopter! Oh wow, just, got, just I, like that. I don't even know what took out that helicopter. I have no idea, but there is gonna be some tomahawks <laughs> raining down. Oh no! I was watching inside of the picture in picture, and a player was. Uh, walking his way up the side of the building and just on the other side well there's basically a cliff and he fell to his death <laughs> unfortunate unfortunate but yeah so uh there is going to be a tank battle going on in the street there you can actually see a tank moving up but oh just like that there's a truck now and uh alpha 08 has to consider well do i want to put or alpha 5 has to consider do i want to push this i i don't know if that's going to be a smart idea um and uh, he's going to throw a grenade at his teammate oh, okay i mean it makes sense but just, just learning the keys. Yeah, you know, probably, probably learning the keys. I shouldn't be too hard on him, Corey. You're right about that. You, you're, you're the wise one. You heard, you hear this guy's voice? Seriously, it's like, it's like imagine an ebook. Imagine you know? an ebook. Imagine you reading an ebook. Pop it in an old cassette into, uh, into your truck while you're cruising down the road with your windows down, listening to an ebook. There you see. <laughs> Look at that right there. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, all right, so uh, Alpha 05 in this oh, M wrap here. Bullard. Can't go up by the Bullard, guys, because of the fact that it is right on hey, that side. I think you should try to ram it again. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, man. The best was, uh, I think it was, yeah. ooh, that rocket was too close for comfort on that one. The best was when the uh, the tank was, when two tanks pushed on the Bullard, and they were just like, Trying why? To go down, go why down. Why is this not going down? This is so frustrating. Uh oh, this recon class, of course, he's going to be the one that has C4, or has the capability of getting C4. He's going to get taken down. Now back over here to Alpha 03. Yep, and he will be uh, making his way um, right up through this, uh, through, through this side here, this, this side catwalk. And, uh, I see a good job taking uh, advantage of... Taking her time. Well, he's, he's able to spot over the top, only exposing the top of his dome. Yeah, but he does get taken out after he completely exposes himself. Yep, that's right. Uh, B is going to be heavily contested. Skyscraper still has not fallen down. Tanks are going to be uh, on the ready as well. Look at the pressure that is being applied here by the Bravo squad on Alpha. They just have no idea what to do here. You can see, look at this. Two tanks as well as a truck. That MRAP uh, definitely doing work. Let's go and ahead and get into a... Oh, we'll, I think the Metro... Uh-oh. Is that a recon falling in the... Uh, behind, yeah, he has that the is. repair tool. He's trying to attack it, caused a little bit of damage. Now he's completely out in the open, Whoa. still chasing, bobbing and weaving. He's going to get taken down uh, by the infantrymen there out on the street. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, could have been great for him, especially if he would have been able to lay down that C4 and take care of it, but that just did not happen there. 
And now they still have all the, that tank control pushing that A flag. But look here, Bravo 7 is in a world of hurt. That tank is on fire, and he's uh -oh, getting shot from behind. Down. Oh, no. I think he is going to get taken out here. Without a doubt, there it is. What? Another song when... What? Another song was in my head on that one, too. Whoop, there it is. Yep. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Why are we always just thinking about songs? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I, so let's go ahead and hop into a first-person view. Uh, let's find someone on the tabletop there. As uh, here comes some, uh, he's trying to find out where he is after so much destructions coming in there. That's probably from the AC 130s going, wait a minute. Um, I'm probably not in the best spot. <laughs> I am out in the open. I could get hurt. And here comes a Tomahawk missile. So that is certainly not going to be good. Bravo 07 now moving in with this helicopter. Tomahawk as well making their way through. So this is uh, going to open up a quite nice at the very least, but all of the U.S. guys still have control. You know what I want to see? What do you want to see? I want to see a Tomahawk take out a helicopter. Oh, that'd be awesome. And and I'm pretty sure one day we will see that. I'm pretty that sure. That would be so awesome. And then I want to see a Tomahawk take out a jet. Oh. Now, you, now you're thinking too far, Corey. Now you, no, now you, no, no. Only in Battlefield. Only in Battlefield. All right, Bravo 7 in that helicopter there. He is trying to make some noise, and there's a tank as well, but he is not aware of that. We are aware of it because of the all-seeing eye of tabletop mode that you are seeing here. We're on board with Alpha 10, and he is or Alpha 10 or Alpha 19. I'm really, really blind. That is not good. It's 19. But so one of the things so we can talk about uh, is the respawn process, too, while we're in tabletop. We don't actually, uh, it was great is uh, in some of the previous previous versions, whenever you were looking at it, um, you'd actually cycle through each position and you'd get uh, a live camera view of what that where that area is. In this uh, form in Battlefield 4, you actually have your selectable spawn points that you can go off of. So just like we are uh, clicking on each of the members, uh, we can actually do the exact same uh, whenever you're trying to respawn. So you have a squad member that you need to spawn off of. You don't have to spawn off a squad leader. You, just, uh, you can sp uh, spawn off a squad member, um, and you can spawn uh, where you have any of the points, and you can also spawn in your spawn. Nice. Nice. So well, there are a lot of options as well to keep the action flowing, keep things moving. Uh, B is right now being uh, contested here uh, and held down by the CN guys, so they are going to maintain control of that one at the very least. Uh, or or they're, they have control of the area, as a matter of fact. I must have misspoke because I saw a bunch of... Uh, uh, orange arrows there they just didn't do anything and now uh, making their way down into the other side B is uh, going to be a big hot area or a hot hot point of interest 12 and 0 12 and 0 uh, one of the Alpha players Commander. is 12 and 0 I don't think uh, yeah this player is 8 and 5 but there's another player that was 12 and 0 that was right beneath yeah that him. was the uh, Alpha Commander Oh, that was the Alpha Commander. Yeah, That's probably why we, we, we didn't hop on with him. Yeah, getting a couple of, uh, you know, kills there with the Tomahawks is certainly That's proved, uh, very helpful for them, you know. And also, you know, you could be a big contributing factor to the team, as you saw right there. I mean, yeah, granted. Ooh. You're sitting in the coffee shop with your tablet and picking up kills. Yeah, that is With very the Tomahawk. In-game, in, in Battlefield 4. M1 Abrams getting pounded somewhere. I don't know where. But it's not losing a lot of armor, so they are going to go and get D. And just like that, Corey, the tables have flipped. And now yeah, uh, U.S. have moved into the territory of the Chinese. All right. So as we take a look, you still got uh, Alpha 28 still moving around here. He has his teammate to work with there as well. Uh, e is uh, right now under contest. And Bravo 11 getting gunned down. So you can tell that uh, Alpha 11 actually has a gunner with him. He's out in the open, but uh, there are so many players that he can shoot upon right now. There's another one just inside of the uh, that fireball. Ooh. So just on the other side, working around the pillar, able to pick up another one. Man, they were just picking them apart. Dissecting them. Just just really, really. Scalpel. Yeah. The scalpel. The tank is a scalpel. I, I would never have made the comparison. 
but uh, seems to be the case right now. This guy is just tearing it apart. Alpha 28 continuing to advance forward. It's going to be a bunch of orange arrows right in front of him. As he oh, is still going to have dirty. full health, but rockets are going to be coming out around. He's able to take out one to the left side. Can he take out the one in front as well? This is a perfect well? angle for him. It is, but you know what, though? There's a lot of rocket fire coming all around him. He cannot seem to take out any of them, but he is going to find one player in front. He is going to uh -oh, drop him. Just, he's just going to go. Oh, man. He's... Go for it. Balls to the wall, buddy. It might as well. And he is finally dropped. Man, what a run there for the Alpha 28 guy, Corey. Yeah, yeah there's two different options that he could have taken out there. You could have sit there and one, he could have bailed. Probably wouldn't have been a good idea. Two, he could have tried to figure out how to drive away, maneuver his way out of there. The other the issue with that is he could have get shot, shot in his backside. Um, and lastly, he could have just tried to press right on through and try to kill as many people as he could uh, before getting taken down. Uh, he took option C. Option C, red pill or blue pill? Red. I mean, uh, no, or, green, or the green. green pill? Yeah, the green pill. The green. I like how we both thought of green. That that was nice. a yes, high five. Uh, RGB, bro. <laughs> you didn't explode. You didn't. Oh, well, that's, uh, we you didn't know, think it's, like it's that. It's understandable. I mean, I, I mean, it's I was okay. still thinking about green. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, well, here comes that Tomahawk, and there is a lot of Chinese players that are going to be around that area. That tank is going to be Timing. in the area, too. Oh, no. And I think that it is not going to well, happen. Wait for it. But that helicopter, let's actually see what's up with that helicopter. Oh, never mind. Found an infantry. Jinxed it. There it is. All right. So now the helicopter is... Uh, Spectating is like your own mini game. It like is. Trying to select a... An individual player. It is. Especially like, a moving helicopter this. that's just flowing through the map, decides to kind of scan through a bunch of players. Yeah. Yeah, you were right about that, Corey. And the Viper finding a player at the bottom, but he is not going to go for the kill. No, he actually does. I think he might have gotten it as well. Circling around the side by the water where no one will hurt him. Yeah, he's, trying, he's, he's taking a, a very long approach to try to get that same person. All right, take two. Let's do this again. Spraying down. <laughs> Missing with every shot. Take three. All right. I need to kind of reset myself, figure this one out. All right. Not I've the got water. it this time. I really have it this time. I can do it. Motivational tape brought to you by? Brought to you by Corey Dunn. <laughs> hey, and he, takes and he gets down. it off of 27. Hey, third time's a charm. I know. It, it actually is so true <laughs> in that one. That, that was actually Wait a minute. Fun. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Imagine he's like floating around. It's like, guys, guys, I just ended up getting uh, that dude after the third try. I felt really good about myself on that one. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to be uh, going after this tank. I think it's going to be a good attempt here. Let's see. Take one. No, never mind. I'm actually just going to no, fly to the water. <laughs> Alpha 27 uh, still just kind of hanging out here with the helicopter. We can watch him for days, but we'll go ahead and switch around, though. Yeah, let's see what's up with the uh, free cam here. As we look at, uh, that is going to be B. Yep. And, uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, good rocket there. He's in that play is going to get taken out. Oh, look at that. All those rockets coming from nowhere. Different angles. This is not going to look good here for this tank unit. One, One more. more hit, and One he is going to be done. But he has support, Corey. He has support. And uh, see that uh, engineer no. right behind him, and uh, trying to be able to repair him right now. But he oh, exposes his uh, his teammate, still kind of working there, going back oh. and forth. And boom, goes the tank. Boom goes the tank. That was a good. So you could you could have went with dynamite because you know I mean obviously, but I'm glad, glad you did it. Yeah. Glad you did. I'm proud of you, Corey. I'm proud of you. Internet meme defeated. So we have uh, the Alpha Squad making their way through to B. They nice do manage to get control. And yeah, yeah, I have to agree, right? Our cameraman, we don't know who you are, but we love you for listening to what we do, for listening to what we say. I don't know. Um, but yes, so we have a, a lot of craziness going on here right now. B is going to be in the control of Alpha Squad. And uh, what's up with the tabletop? I actually want to see what's up with the tabletop. And uh, yeah, well, look at that. So C right now is going to go uh, to Alpha Squad. Uh, D and E for the Chinese squad over in Bravo. But you know what, though? Still anyone's game uh, at this point in time. I mean, for all we know, the Chinese squad could just dominate here, and the uh, U.S. squad can't answer back at all. I mean, that, that could very well be a possibility. So one of the things that you might be questioning, too, is uh, you see the Tomahawk quite a bit in this game, and uh, it's really fallen on sp specific locations, whether that's B, C, D, where, what have you. Uh, but one of the things, though, to note is you can uh, designate an area that is not a specific location. 
Okay. So you can you can predetermine your spot. Uh, we had seen it once before where uh, the action was happening on the, the north side of C and uh, where these two tanks were kind of hanging out. Remember the infantry that was up at the very top there? Yeah. And uh, we saw a tomahawk there. So that just kind of clarifying everything that you can use a tomahawk wherever you please whenever you're in commander mode. Yeah, you can, and that is why, uh, you know, the freedom in that mode is really cool. Uh, we saw a little while ago. Yeah, look at the commander. Look at that. He's 24. Of course, he's going to be 24 and 0, but uh, he's got 24 kills in this game using every bit of the uh, the tomahawk, and he's got to thank his teammates for holding down B this entire game. Yeah, that's right. They've, they've maintained that position, which have allowed him to to do that, but Bravo here is uh, actually going to end up getting C as the score is going to be 172 to 476 right now. A, D, and E are going to go to the U.S. squad while the Chinese do manage to hold down, what is that, B and C? Or they're trying to flip C right now. Yeah, so it's uh, going neutral. And any minute now they will be able to do so. He is going to have some teammate support, uh, hopefully, uh, at some point in time. But that was going to be an enemy player that he was shooting at there. Of course, U.S. players are blue. Chinese soldiers are orange or red in the spectator mode. And uh, Corey, you know, is a, is a comeback feasible here with the, with the CN squad? Can they do this? Uh, with the, the amount of time that we have, it may be a little bit difficult. But in a real competitive match, there's no direct time timeline that you're on. And uh, so it's, again, it's the first to zero. So yes, so anything is possible. So the Chinese team can come all the way back, especially from a deficit that, that's still not incredible. It's, it's 300 ticks. It's a little bit less than 300 ticks. Uh, but in the reality of it all, um, you know, it's still possible. Yeah, that's right. And uh, now we see Alpha 08 jet skis are coming through. Um, but yeah, so you know what, though, uh, just so, so you guys are aware, after we're done with this game, we're actually going to have an awesome interview coming up here uh, with uh, a member from Astro Gaming. Uh, so that should be pretty awesome. Astro providing the headsets here that the players are using um, at this point in time. So uh, we're going to get a few words with them. So that's going to happen right after this game here. But look at here, some close quarters action. We have not really had many opportunities, uh, opportunities to see Alpha 08. Finding guys right in front of him. Takes out one. Red and he's got the second as well. Let's see if he can do though do so, but he is gonna get picked off from behind. Alright, so we're back over here with the recon member here. He's got the scout in hand. One of my favorite weapons in any game I play. Yes, we'll go ahead and see uh, right now. Still working down towards the bottom side. He spotted or, or knew that there was a tank or a vehicle that was up on the top part of that bridge. And so he's going to go ahead and rotate underneath. But uh, he's out in the open now. He spotted one tank and uh, looks like they were able to help him out right now. Still pushing towards that D point. Uh, there is a vehicle right behind him on the bridge. And so uh, as well, uh, you know, they're going to continue to kind of be able to push up here. As, uh, again, he looks like he might be able to spot a couple players right here. Uh, it has to go for that bolt action, though, putting that uh, bullet back into the chamber. And uh, so, again, just kind of going back and forth. He's playing so aggressive with the type of setup that he has right now. As Alpha 17 has uh, been able to pick up a couple. He's still staying alive, getting shot on his six. See if he can be able to turn back around now. He doesn't spot anyone. Doing a great job of angling around the corner right there with that uh, with that scout in hand. Still right now, as you can take a look, you've got uh, we're getting pretty close to it right now. It's got uh, 128 uh, and uh, 315 left in this game here on Siege of uh, Shanghai. We've been uh, watching this map for the past two days now. And uh, kudos to Alpha 17 staying alive throughout that entire little mix. And uh, he's going to finally get taken out. I jinxed him at the very end right there. All right, so uh, Corey had a pretty good game here so far. Uh, 116 to 299. The CN squad looking pretty solid. I mean, uh, or the U.S. squad looking pretty solid. I, I think, uh, you know, we've, we've seen some great gameplay thus far here. What do you think was the difference maker in this, uh, in this game? All right, so I'm just trying to get you set up here. We got uh, 
Uh, Walt here from Astro. I'm happy that you stopped on by. You know, of course, uh, I, I've had the chance to be able to work with your product for, for a while now. Uh, and also, you know, the, the fact that you're able to provide and help out with the Battlefield 4 and everything, uh, it's just a pleasure to have you on here. Uh, kind of tell me about uh, the partnership that you got working on here with uh, Battlefield 4. Well, we've been big fans of the Battlefield franchise for a very, very long time. Uh, a lot of the people in the office play really regularly. Um, and when uh, we were talking about partnerships for the fall, Battlefield 4 was on the front of our list. That's good. Uh, so, you know, we come out, we've worked with EA for a long time, all around uh, headset sponsorships, around events, that kind of stuff. We've done a few different licensed products in the past. Uh, we're really excited to be the official licensed headset for Battlefield 4. So we've got 64 players behind us right now. What are What is the headphones that they're using and uh, the, the mix app? So right now they're all using our A40 headset. Uh, they're using uh, the mix amps, uh, which created a private local voice communication network. Uh, it's like free, crystal clear. Uh, the A40 is really our flagship product back in the day, uh, and uh, it's kind of been the benchmark for competitive gaming for a long time. All right, so you, you mentioned that it's been in competitive gaming for a while, but for those that are kind of the casual experience that you're trying to reach out to as well, uh, what can that provide uh, for someone at home? So the A40 uh, really highlights around the Adobe Digital surround sound processing. So you're able to process up to a 7.1 signal, decode it, re-encode it using the Dolby headphone. So you're able to get a really immersive, fully surround sound experience in any type of first-person shooter. So you actually hear like what direction you're being shot at from, or if a grenade explodes behind you. It gives you a really big competitive advantage. All right, so I also see the, the custom, uh, customizability of it, uh, the fact that you can change uh, out the, uh, the the tags here on the side. I mean, so that the, the Battlefield 4 ones are, are pretty cool. We're going to see those. Uh, are, are they available now, or are they, we're going to see them in the future? So the ones that you see on the headsets behind us are all show I'm exclusives. Uh, let's see if I'm going to grab yep. one right here behind you to be able to show this off. Absolutely. So these are the tags. So these are detachable. There's a, there's a magnet on the back side. Uh, again, I've been working with Astros for a while, but you had the chance to be able to have these tags, and they're pretty cool. So. Yep, yeah, so those are your show exclusives just for this demo. Uh, part of our official license, you'll actually be able to go online at astrogaming.com and pick up a whole set or a whole series of sets of tags uh, that are all Battlefield-inspired as well. That's going to be great. So uh, also, uh, we, it looks like we have uh, the chance to be able to give uh, some players out there the chance to use their the Astro A30s, is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, because we are such big Battlefield fans, we want to make sure that you guys <laughs> really have an opportunity to win. Um, do you want to talk about the contest, or do you want me to go a little no, bit? It, it's, uh, I mean, so what I've, what I've been told that uh, make sure that you post out there hashtag BF4 and what you, what one of the features that you like the most. Yeah, if you uh, like uh, Levolution or... Uh, oh my God! Totally yeah, the amazing. commander mode. Yeah, the I commander mean, there's mode, a, there's like, a lot of uh, great new aspects that are out there. Tweet out what is your favorite feature about Battlefield 4, uh, and just hashtag or hashtag BF4, and do an at Astro Gaming on Twitter, and we'll uh, we'll pick three people in the next 20 minutes uh, and who will win an A30 headset. And we'll be able to announce that live right here on the stream. Uh, in our next game, or possibly the last game, uh, depending on uh, what I get told. I think I'd, I think I was told before at the last game, but we'll figure that out. Yeah. You'll be told today, I promise. Uh, and so we'll have three lucky people who get the chance to have uh, some Astro A30. Yeah, so everybody at home, you get a chance to experience some of the great audio oh, around Battlefield great. 4. So. Awesome. Uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a pleasure having you on here. It's uh, been some great stuff. How's the event been for you so far? The event's been really good. Uh, we're actually unveiling a few different uh, big partnerships that we have around uh, games that are coming out this fall, Battlefield being one of them. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of partner stuff happening on the show floor as well that we're really excited about. Uh, I think before I head out, one of the things that I really want to showcase and give everybody at home a great experience is a uh, first look at what that licensed Battlefield 4 product is going to be. That's going to be great. So uh, I'm going to duck down here. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. And so we'll oh, no. <laughs> Those things are so oh, clean. You, you are building up the anticipation. I love it, Corey. So uh, what we've got is actually a carbon fiber uh, A40 headset. We'll be doing it on A50 as well. Uh, I'll have the Battlefield 4 branding on it. Uh, this is a prototype, so it's, uh, it's very close to what it's going to actually look like. Uh, but it isn't quite final. Uh, the colors will change just slightly. Uh, but it'll still have the detachable boom mic on the A40 version. It has the Battlefield soldier tags. Uh, and the, uh, the big four logo, which is fantastic. Man, that is that so. is that that that's really clean. I like the carbon fiber look. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. 
So we're very excited. That'll be on the A40 and the A50. We'll have uh, both retail versions of that. So look for that in your stores coming uh, right around game launch. Yeah, and so I, I'm, this is just a personal shout out to you because I'm loving the new commercials that I've seen lately. They crack me up. They're 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 just they're just great all around. Oh yeah, we've got a, a great video team that we've just hired yes. in. Uh, so I'll give those guys all the credit in the world. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a, a lot of good team members right now. I'm uh, I'm really proud of building that out. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it Thank you for hopping on here. Of course, make sure you check out Astro Gaming on all your different types of social media. Uh, big shout out to you guys for helping us uh, give our gamers uh, high quality uh, audio while they play one of the best. Uh, experience, especially from the Frostbite 3 engine. I mean, it's it's all out. Oh, yeah. They can hear everything. And one of the things that we had the chance um, from the Battlefield 4 side, from DICE, is uh, how much they pay attention to audio. And uh, it really comes out clear yeah. through these, uh, these A40s. I mean, so the natural progression, you know, high-end audio, it really gives you an advantage in the game. So we're excited to be partners for this one. I appreciate it. And uh, coming up next, we're going to have uh, more gameplay for Battlefield 4, so stick around. Appreciate it, Walt, Thank for you. hopping on here. It's, uh, it's been a great time here at E3, so stick around. Coming up again, still more gameplay for Battlefield 4 after the break.